Hey, today I'm hiking in Harriman State Park. This is not too far from my house, about an hour and a half. I live in Albany, so it doesn't take too long to get here. Came back down here today again, possibly an overnight, maybe just a long day hike. Um, great thing about Harriman, outside of the fact that there's a ton of trails, uh, you could probably hike here a dozen times, never really repeat yourself. Um, I don't think there's a mud season here, which is really fantastic, which is why I'm here. It, there's still snow up in the Adirondacks in New Hampshire, and it's mud season, so they kind of discourage hiking. So this is how I get into shape for the season. set up camp for the night. I am at the, hmm, I can't remember the name of the shelter. Uh, one of the shelters in Harriman State Park on the Appalachian Trail. There's a ton of people here. This is a Mountain Smith shelter, two person tent tarp. I've had this for a few years. Um, I usually use it in the winter. This is actually the first time I'm using it in the summer. I had originally gotten it so my really large Great Pyrenees wouldn't trash my tent. But uh, this has really been my go-to shelter. Um, I really like it. Uh, it's staked out and guyed out pretty good today because it is a little busy up here. There's the fingerboard shelter. That's what it is. The fingerboard shelter. Anyway, lovely little fire pit here. There is room for many other tents here. So that's the outside. Got my Tokes 550 milliliter pot. All I do is boil water in it. I don't need anything bigger. Um, that canister stove does fit right inside with my DRS ultralight titanium alloy stove from Amazon. Same one that so many people have. And of course my mini big lighter. Um, I also use this as my coffee cup, so I do also carry these hot lips, which snap on <clears throat> to the side so that I don't burn my mouth off. But right now I'm just cooking dinner. Um, this is one of the great things about using the tarp tent or any tarp in general is you have that clearance and airflow to be able to cook inside, which is super convenient, especially on a cold or a rainy morning. So anyway, I'm gonna have my dinner. I'm all wrapped up and ready to go to sleep. It's gonna be a little chilly tonight, but I've got my enlightened equipment 10 degree quilt, so I'm gonna be super toasty. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. All packed up. Didn't take too long. Usually I'm pretty bad about that. If you can see that glistening, there's a spring that comes out from underneath the lean-to over there. It's dry right now. I had been looking for it, but there it is. And there's the lake and the background so there was definitely a lot of people here last night but I had enough solitude that I was pretty happy with this
One of the interesting things I wanted to mention about this trail is super interesting mix of people that you get on this trail. Boy Scouts, I ran into Boy Scouts yesterday. I think I actually lapped them. A lot of people from, I say downstate, because I live in Albany. Um, and uh, like I saw people in dress boots and stretch denim hiking. Um, kudos for them for getting out, that's super good. Um, and then you have your dog walkers, and then you have your hikers and backpackers. So there's definitely an eclectic mix going on here, which uh, makes things pretty interesting for sure. So um, being so close to New York City and on the train line, Metro North has a stop, whoops, right here in Harriman. And um, Metro North is dog friendly of people but uh, all nice people I think that people that go out on the trails are just nice anyway that's it for now just wanted to tell you about that thanks a little addendum to what I said a few minutes ago it's fine for all types of people to hike here but please wear appropriate footwear the lovely girl in dress boots was really struggling going down some rocks and I felt really bad for her because I thought she might slip on some pine needles, which could be bad. So anyway, just wanted to point that out. One other thing I wanted to talk about is I have the Enlightened Equipment 10 degree down bag, the kind that cinches at the bottom, uh, not the enclosed foot box. And I also have the Thermarest X-Therm uh, sleeping pad. And those are actually my, not my year round, I do have a negative 20 bag for winter, but that's my three season setup because where I hike is typically very cold. I'm a very cold sleeper. So last night it got down to about 32 degrees. I pretty much had my summer sleeping gear with me um, you know maybe not 80 degrees and humid at night summer but nonetheless light layers for sleeping in by about five o'clock in the morning I did get a little cold uh, that's my fault I did test out the uh, quilt to about 18 degrees in my full winter uh, setup that I would sleep in and I was boiling hot so um, if you're a cold sleeper I would keep that in mind I also bought these super cheap down booties 20 bucks off of eBay and they worked amazing it was probably the warmest part of me was my feet. So if you're a cold sleeper, I would highly recommend that. And that's it for now. This blaze looks brand new. I was here last week and I kept losing my way. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see three other paint blazes from here which is certainly an upgrade for me getting lost every five seconds a week ago. So thank you for all of those who do trail maintenance. We appreciate it. So this part of the trail, you'll see that there's a blue, ba blue blaze around it. Um, it requires a little bit of technical climbing. Um, you can go down that way. That's called the easy way. You can see that. And if you go this way, I'll show you. I've done it, but today I am nursing a badly sprained shoulder. But I have done it. You climb down here. And like I said, totally possible. Um, 
but uh, it does require arms, to which I only have one, so... The easy way it is for me. trash I picked up is actually getting stuck in here. It's on either side of my pack. The lemon squeezer. Oh, now my pack's all wet. And the truck passes right through here and turns and goes up. That's it. Hope you enjoyed that. Those sounds are one of the best things about being on the trail. <laughs> <laughs>